Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build my secret room underneath a cauldron. Now, the one thing I love about this thing is that it's completely activated by the cauldron. There's no buttons, there's no levers, it's only activated by the cauldron. So all you need is a cauldron, of course, with some water in it, and a glass bottle. So all we're gonna do is take some water out of it with this glass bottle, and you can see as it, it activates right there, very fast, very fast motion. So all you literally have to do is just jump on top of your cauldron, take the water out of it, and fall down into your secret room. And as you can see, there's no more water in there, so just fill it back up when there's no more water in there. But that's it, guys, that's all it is. All of this thing is, is a bud switch and a monostable circuit. So it's a very easy build. So let me get rid of all this stuff, we don't need this. And we're gonna take out the stuff we need. So for this build, we're going to need a five by six spacing. And then right here in the middle, we're gonna come out one more block. The only reason I put this block here for now is just to show where the piston's gonna extend up for your cauldron. This block will be deleted eventually because you know when you fall through the cauldron, you don't wanna get stuck there and then suffocate and die. That would be bad. <laughs> so we're gonna need a five by six spacing. and we're gonna need to dig down at least two. So for this build, we're going to need a, let me get rid of that first. We're gonna need some blocks to put our redstone down on. So I'm using lime wool. We're gonna need five sticky pistons, four redstone torches, nine redstone dust, four repeaters, one slab, one glass bottle. This is just to activate it and all that stuff at the end. But we're also gonna need some blocks of choice, which is I'm gonna be using quartz. You can use whatever you want. You can use cobblestone, netherrack, whatever you want. We're also gonna need a cauldron and a bucket of water. I'm gonna leave my glass bottle up here because we don't need it right now. So after you got your five by six spacing, you dug down your two, just come to the left-hand side and count over three, one, two, three, and then count up one, one. And right here, we're gonna put two sticky pistons facing towards us like that. And then on the bottom, we're gonna put a sticky piston facing upwards. Next, we're gonna put a cauldron right on top of this sticky piston with some water in it. We're gonna do that now so we can just get rid of these two. We don't need those two on us anymore. Next, what we're gonna do is right here on this little off block that comes out from the rest of it, we're just gonna come up three, one, two, three. And then on the backhand side, right above the cauldron, we're gonna put a sticky piston facing backwards. The reason why I do that is because you can't place stuff right on cauldron. See, I'm trying to do it. Maybe you could do it on the PC, I'm not sure, but on Xbox and PS3, you're gonna have to do what I just did there. And then just delete those blocks because they're not needed. Next, what we're gonna do is put a block right in front of this sticky piston. And then we're gonna come down and right on top of this sticky piston, we're gonna come out one and then over to the left one, delete this block and we're gonna put a torch here. Now, you know you did this right because once you put the torch, these two should extend out. See, they both extend out. So that's how you know you put the torch in the right spot. Next, what we're gonna do is come a block out from the torch with some dust on top of it. So we're gonna build our bud switch first. Let's do our bud switch first. So next, what we're gonna do is just put a block up next to the redstone dust, a torch on top of it, a block on top of the torch, a torch right above the redstone dust, and then we're gonna put a repeater coming out of this block set to one tick delay, it should come on due to the torch. And then we're gonna come out two blocks, one, and then we're gonna put our, well actually one block, and then we're gonna put our upside down half, uh, upside down slab here. If I say upside down half slab, you know, whatever. <laughs> so put an upside down slab right here, so just put it upside down, and then put two pieces of dust like this, not two torches, two dust, pop up like that. Next, what you're gonna do is take out your blocks of choice and put two blocks of choice up from here. So one, two, like that. And that will create the bud switch. So if I put a block right here, it'll update it. So if yours is not updating like this, then you did something wrong. This is our bud switch. See how it keeps updating every time I put a block next to it? All right, beautiful. So next, what we're gonna do is come out from this dust on this side. See how the torch is on this side? We wanna be on this side right here. And we're just gonna come down a block from the dust and we're gonna put a repeater coming out of the block set to one tick delay. Put a sticky piston facing up with a block on top of it that will create a mono stable circuit put another block coming down with a repeater coming out of this block next what we're going to do is put a block up in front of this one tick delay repeater so just go one two you can delete this block you don't have to but it's not needed next we're going to put a sticky piston facing outwards with a block on top of it so now if i update it this sticky piston should extend out thus letting go of this block so if i put a block here and update it as you can see it let go of the block and if I delete the block, it will grab the block. So if yours is not letting go of this block right here, when you do this, then you did something wrong. <laughs> All right, so next what we're gonna do is now that, put it, make sure it's back in this position. So just make sure the block is back in front of this sticky piston. We're gonna come one more block over and put a torch right here. So now when, when it activates, it'll, the block will be right above this torch. Like that, there we go. Then right next to the torch right here, we're gonna put a block up with some dust 
and then put another block here and going into the block with this torch we're going to put a repeater on two ticks delay then we're going to come out to the side of it like this with dust on top of it and we're going to put another torch right here and then what, literally what we're going to do is make like an l shape of dust right here so one two three like that make like a little l shape of dust well, actually a, a J shape, I guess. Yeah, it's a J shape. <laughs> and then we're gonna put a block of choice right here. Now, once we put this block of choice here, it's, it's gonna wig out for a little bit, but then it'll, it will fix itself. So watch, it's gonna like do a little wig out and then we'll fix itself, so. There we go, see, it fixed itself. And then literally this is just our uh, blocks right here. This is where we're gonna fall down the hole. Now we're gonna delete this block right here. It's not needed anymore, because this is where we're gonna fall down a room. And as you can expect, we're done, that's it. So now literally all we have to do is put our wall here that and then put some more blocks right here and that's it guys so now if i take out my water bottle well my glass bottle and then i make a water bottle and fall through there we go we're in our secret room so that's how you build my secret room underneath a cauldron if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys <laughs> peace